Hey everyone, this is Lingo Twist, and today we'll be doing MySpace backgrounds. The first thing you want to do, oh, on Adobe Photoshop 7. I don't know what program you have, but you could do it also on Photoshop CS2 or CS3. First thing you want to do is open a new image with 800 height 11, 811. Well, actually, your width is going to be 811, and your height will be. 800 and this one I want to do I want to do a black so hit black like that let me take this off and then you go to image and then you go to canvas size change it to pixels like so and you change your width from 811 to 1600 you see and it makes it like that now what you want to do in the background for example if you want to have it white or whatever color you want to have it just make sure it's not the color of your the letters that you want to um, have so what you want to do is pick a color my color is going to be and mine is actually going to be a gradient so what I want to do is change it from this to that gradient tool right there and then I'm going to select the gradient that I want which is none of the above so I'm going to go to pick a different gradient I'll actually reset them so I can this, this is the one I want right here now what you do is get your layers you go to view or actually you go to windows and make sure you can see your layers over there and you want to make a duplicate layer or actually a new layer that'll be the same size as that I don't know why my menu is moving what you want to do is click the layer go down here and do it as far up as you want now what you want to do is move one layer to the bottom so you can see it you see it's coming out like like so um... if you wanna... oh you don't want your opacity, you want it all the way Wait. so mine is a little bit um... i'm gonna delete it because it didn't come out the opacity that i wanted to so i'm gonna make a new layer again i'm gonna move it down to the bottom i don't know why this menu keeps moving to the middle of the freaking thing but you wanna do that see like so then what you want to do is if you want borders or if you don't want borders you go right here make a new layer then you hit this little you know box tool thing whatever and you go and you make your borders you make them pretty small pretty small actually I'm not gonna do borders so let's scratch that yes I would like to trash the layer uh, and there you go what I want to do is actually blend this layer you go to this little flash little F down here you go to blending options and then you can select how you want it to look what size the spread you want it that big or size you see it makes a shadow and it'll make a shadow like that you see in the background you can see the preview you can make the spread big or you can make it smaller so it could actually look like a shadow you can make it bigger or smaller I think I'm gonna make it a little bit humongous because I really want it to show now I want an inner shadow you can have that you can have an outer glow inner glow yada 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 I want to no I don't want to do that either so I'm pretty much done here unless I yeah I'm pretty much done and oh no uh, I want to drop shadow and you want to spread Size like that. 
there you go and if you want noise you can add noise I think it's gonna be like that a little less noise a little less noise a little less noise no I don't want any noise then you hit OK and there you go you got your basic MySpace layout you would get this and you would upload it to your photo bucket and then you would get the code and you would insert it into your code that you would have in your about me section if you need the code for your about me section I have it and you kinda have to know what you're doing to put it in there and then you can set it different as you want it um, my next video will be on making contact tables so I hope you tune in thank you bye bye